hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All others, his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. Every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. When he shall come with trumpet sound, oh may I then in him be found. Trust in his righteousness alone, fought less to stand before the throne. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. Amen. And that is the good news for us this day and every day. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking stand. And aren't we blessed to stand on that solid rock of our faith in Jesus Christ? And that is why we are here today. I'm Pastor Canaan Harris, and I see a lot of our regulars on watching already this morning. My son Ezekiel here with me, and uh, we have a message for you today. And getting started a little bit late this morning, but we've got a big day at church today. At, at 10 o'clock, we have service at our facility on Cherry Creek South, and then to follow, we have a barbecue. This is our first church barbecue that we've had in a very long time. Um, so we are so grateful that we have these opportunities to get together and fellowship, and then also that we can communicate, Kate, like we are across the miles. Um, I so enjoy having this message uh, on a Sunday morning. So we're going to start off with a word of prayer, and then we have a scripture lesson for today about the whole armor of God. Uh, this is the final of our sermon series on Ephesians that we've done in the month of August. So we'll be preaching about the whole armor of God and then have another song this morning. But so good to be with you this morning. Let's start off by having a word of prayer as we begin. Let's pray. Uh, and from the Philippines, kindly mention us here from the Philippines. So it's so great. So many from the Philippines have tuned in in their time zone. So uh, blessings to you all and so many watching here and around the world. Let's pray. And God, we are just trusting in you and we are so blessed that we can reach out across thousands of, of miles and even to our, our back door, God, and that we can share the spirit of your son, the spirit of your love and your son, Jesus Christ. And God, we know that we have all power and purpose in his name. God, help us to claim the name of Jesus boldly. God, help us to, to, to know that it's by that name that we are saved. And God, we do trust in you and in your, your power and in your purpose for our lives. God, help us to trust that you will take care of the destination. God, that you have a plan for us that is greater than anything that we can imagine and that we have to be but faithful. God, help us to be faithful and to trust in you and to find our strength in you to fight the battles that we have each and every day. Indeed, God, you give us the whole armor of God that we can find our defense against the, the trips and falls along this path of life. And God, help us to, to pick up our sword and, and shield and, and march forth and, and find courage so that we may do your will and, and be your very hands and feet and, and spread the message of your love and the promise that we have and the hope that we have in your son and the promise of eternal life. God, we are so blessed, we are so grateful, and we ask your continued blessing upon each one, upon those in the, the Philippines and Africa and places here and all around the world. God, we pray for Afghanistan this day and we pray for our own country these United States. And God, we do trust in you uh, and we trust in your son Jesus all the days of our life. In his name we pray, amen. Amen. And so good to see you all hanging on and, and praying with me this morning. And like I said, we have a powerful scripture lesson today. 
My son Ezekiel is going to read from the last chapter of the letter to Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6, um, beginning in verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day, and having done everything, to stand firm. Amen. To stand firm. Ezekiel says, I want to read through stand firm. It feels like a better ending point. feels like a better ending point. And in, in fact, we're going to read in our service this morning at 10 o'clock, we're going to read and list out the whole armor of God and the, the shield of faith and the, and the sword, which is the, the very word of God. And see, we are equipped. We are equipped. You know, the, uh, it says God doesn't call the equipped. God equips the called. So oftentimes we are hesitant to, to go forth. We're hesitant to, to stand firm. We're hesitant to act in courage, but God will give us the tools that we need. God will give us the equipment that we need to, to fight these battles of life. And again, you know, these are, we, we talked about this last week. Uh, these are evil days. These are always evil days. We are strangers in a strange land. Those of us who are Christians are a remnant people. We are citizens of heaven living here in this world, brushing shoulders with those who are citizens of this world, sharing the message of our hope of God and Jesus Christ, sharing the message of the eternal life and sharing the message of our destiny. We can trust that God has got us, that God has prepared a place for us. But while we are walking this road of life, God has given us the equipment that we need, the whole armor of God, that we need to stand firm against the traps, against the the pitfalls against the, the temptations that we face in this life. Uh, so we are equipped. We are equipped to find the strength where we need it in the very spirit of God in Jesus Christ. And we have to realize when there are temptations, when there are trials and temptations, when there is trouble anywhere, where can we go? We can go to the Lord. We can um, come home to what God has done for us. And we have this Bible, which the scripture says is the very sword of faith. And so if I think about it in the book of, of Revelation, it says Jesus will come back with a sword in his mouth. And it's a reference to the very word of God, the very message of our salvation. And, and in fact, it's kind of interesting. We're in the book of Proverbs on, on Saturday and we're talking about the tongue and the power of the tongue. And in James, Jesus' brother talks about the power of the tongue in the New Testament. The, the tongue has so much power, even as a weapon. The tongue can hurt, and the tongue can also bless and encourage. So the sword of faith, which is the word of God. You know that God will give us the words to speak, that we don't have to carry an agenda or a plan or a script about what we're going to say, but God will put the very words in our mouth. Think about the prophet Isaiah, and he was called, and um, God put a, the, a flaming uh, ember in his mouth so he would have the words to speak, the very flame. Again, the scripture says, James says, the tongue is a flame. See, we're, we're crossing these various illustrations. It's more than we can put to words, but we see the power that we have in the message. Our primary pur purpose is to share the message. Go ye therefore and share the message of the gospel with all people. Well, this is the very sword that we have in this world, the word of God, the foundation on which we stand, which becomes something that we can use to defend, we can use to exercise courage in this world, we can use to stand strong. You gotta stand for something or you'll fall for anything. And then of course, the, the shield of faith. It is our faith that protects us from the, the fiery arrows, of the devil, the scripture says. And so we, by the shield of faith, we know that we have God's protection, that, that we are God's people, that God has, has got us in every circumstance. If we hold fast to faith, it says the, the breastplate of righteousness, all of the various equipment that we have that God has given us. We don't do this for ourselves. God has given us this equipment through the word, through the faith, 
through the very spiritual foundation on which we stand. And so when we are troubled, we know where we can turn. And it's not because of who we are, but because of what God has done for us in Jesus Christ. This is the good news, the message of our hope, of our faith. Ezekiel, do you want to chime in on this question? You wanted to end on that passage where it says, stand firm. Well, just it feels better than ending on a, in the middle of a statement, so. Well, so grammatically. But I, yeah. see, I thought maybe the meaning no, was, it was, that just it was Well, see, but I think you, you made a big point because uh, our job is, this is instruction for us, to stand firm. And we will have all the equipment. We will have all that we need, all the resources that we need through what God has given to us in Jesus Christ and by the Holy Spirit. That's the good news. Amen. And this is true for each and every one in Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the message of faith. This is the end of our passage, our lesson on Ephesians. God gave us our defense, says Pamela. Put on the whole armor of God. That's a great way to wrap up this message. And if you want to hear more of this message and songs and uh, music and um, prayer and uh, expressions of faith and worship. Come and join with us at our service on uh, Cherry Creek South Drive this morning at 10 o'clock. We will continue and go deeper. We must be equipped with our faith and stand firm in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So glad that we have participants here in the morning from near and far. Let's go out now with a, another song. I love this song as we can remember where is our heavenly home and, and what are we preparing for? And this is uh, a song that says, uh, we're ready to go. It goes, hallelujah, I'm ready. Hallelujah, I'm ready. I can hear voices singing soft and low. Hallelujah, I'm ready. Hallelujah, I'm ready to go. In the darkness of night, not a star was in sight. On a highway that leans down below. But Jesus came in and saved my soul from sin. Hallelujah, I'm ready to go. Hallelujah, I'm ready. I can hear voices singing soft and low. Hallelujah, I'm ready. Hallelujah, I'm ready to go. Do that again. Hallelujah. singing soft and low. Hallelujah, I'm ready. Hallelujah, I'm ready to go. Hallelujah, I'm ready to go. Amen. Isn't that a good song to end out on? And uh, we are. We should be ready to go. We have just this one day and we trust that uh, Jesus is coming back, as the scripture says. Can we trust in, in God's plan and purpose for our lives? Can we trust that God's prepared a place for us? That's the good news. We have no reason to fear. And now let's go out with a benediction as we close. We will do hope to see many of you at our barbecue, at our worship service this morning, uh, starting at 10 o'clock. Uh, let's go out on a word of prayer. Uh, now may the love of God, the peace of Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all through Jesus Christ, our Lord, this day and always. Amen.